I felt as I was watching this press conference that I was simultaneously in two biospheres. Uh, one bi biosphere is the strategic U.S.-Russian relations, and in that biosphere, we could exhale, uh, uh, and I could explain why. The other one, uh, only a few feet away, was the domestic political biosphere uh, where we could choke. Uh, and, and it's obvious why, uh, because, because President Trump, I think, did something totally unexpected and, and really unusual. He essentially uh, uh, washed domestic dirty linen uh, in front, uh, not only international audience, but with, really with the enemy. I, I mean, this is how Russia perceives itself. I'm not saying here anything new. You mean when he uh, referred to the server and Hillary Clinton, yeah, 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 right. Hillary, all that stuff? Correct, correct. Okay. Uh, uh, so this is, this is totally unprecedented. But returning to the first one, I think uh, all those landmines that, I, that I've spoken, um, I, I think, uh, to, to your colleagues even this morning, uh, you know, concessions on, on Ukraine, Syria, sanctions, um, the idea that, that, that Russia could help us uh, in, 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 in any way. That, it looks to me for now, has not happened. And I could go point by point, and I think in no. that sense, we could exhale. We, we, uh, well, we'll, we will exhale while you gather your thoughts, and let's turn to you, Elise. I saw you nodding in part. I think you probably agree in part. You might dissent in part. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, clearly this summit was a win for Putin going in. Uh, it didn't even just to be on the same place and stage. Just to be in the same place, it, it really kind of justifies of Putin's course. policies, yes, that's um, his very aggressive and assertive policies internationally. So it raises the stature of Russia internationally, but also it's a win for him domestically. And even though Russia is an authoritarian state, he really needs that kind of um, constant ideas about how to increase his popular support. So do you think President Trump should not have held this meeting? Well, that is a very uh, interesting question. I don't think he should have held the meeting now, given the indictments that were just handed down. Um, but it is a broader question of whether the U.S. should engage yes. in general, and I think the U.S. should. Uh, and I think actually there is some movement, for example, on certain issues like Syria. Here's the thing. We have watched Obama. We have watched, you know, in the reset button that was poorly done by Hillary Clinton. We watched, I watched George W. Bush live sitting here at CNBC say he could see into the soul of Vladimir Putin, who has been around a lot longer than all these other presidents, right? I mean, we constantly retry this, and we don't seem to get anywhere. Well, that's true. Russia has been a very difficult partner for the past few years, well, for many years. But I wouldn't try to then conclude that Russia can never change. I mean, there is life for Russia after Putin. And there are many um, constituencies within Russia in the general population and in the foreign policy establishment that also want engagement. So I think that we shouldn't um, sort of put Russia in the same category as the Soviet Union and as an enemy. To, to Leon, to Michelle's point, though, I mean, we've seen so many pro different U.S. presidents engage with Vladimir Putin over these years, over these decades, and nothing seems to have worked when it comes to thawing the U.S.-Russia relationship. Was it so terrible for the president to do something completely different in approach when it comes to this meeting with Vladimir Putin. Are we better off right now? Are we better off having had this meeting with Putin today versus not having it? Well, I mean, I, I totally agree with Alyssa that, uh, that uh, uh, Putin going in already won because for him, as for the Soviet leaders, and Putin is a great Soviet patriot. He, he's not so much a Russian patriot, he's a Soviet patriot. Um, uh, being on the same platform, uh, with the American president has always been a huge domestic boost. Now, we have not had a, a meeting until now since uh, Medvedev Obama in uh, uh, Washington in 2010. So I think, I think yes, I mean, we, we, we talked to, uh, to uh, uh, Soviet leaders, and as was correctly pointed out, uh, Russia, as bad as it is today, is not the totalitarian Soviet Union. So I think, I think th there, there, there probably was uh, uh, a, a potential benefit uh, to this meeting. And as I said, uh, I, I think we could exhale in a sense that, you know, I, I, I've written about this and I said, you know, so long as, as there is nothing that oozes out of that black box and so long as, as no harm is done, um, I believe that, that it, 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 it looks to me like uh, it, it was a meeting that, that may lead to something uh, positive. Finally, Again, you, Elise, if, um Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted out, if it were me, I'd check the soccer ball for listening devices and never allow <laughs> it in the White House. 
Well, I actually don't is, think that's a bad suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but you know, you know, it, this is a perennial problem we have by dancing with dictators and authoritarians. Remember the long spoon that you have to have when you sit down with the devil. And I and and the problem I think with President President Trump is that it, he he took just a, a tiny dessert spoon to that, and and the optics of it uh, 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 were awful. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.